Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at how to set up headphone queuing for internal mixing with Traktor Pro 2. The first thing that we need to do is go into the preferences. So we'll open them by pressing this icon here. Then we're going to go to the audio setup tab. You want to make sure that your audio device is your multi-channel sound card. For me, this is the Audio 8 DJ, but if you're using something like the Control S4, that is what you would want to select for your audio device. Next, we'll go to the Output Routing tab. On this tab, you want to be set to Internal Mixing Mode, as that will be sending the sum of all of the decks through one master output. You also need to make sure that you set up your output monitor. So for this, you're going to want to go and select the outputs that correlate to the headphone output on your external sound card or MIDI controller with a built-in sound card. Once you've set up your output monitor, you can go ahead and close out of the preferences. One of the great things about Tractor Pro 2 is it has all of the features that you would find on a standard DJ mixer. And queuing works exactly the same as if you were using a hardware mixer. To use the queue function, all you need to do is have one of the line faders on your channels down and then press the headphone button to start listening to that track in your headphones. With the crossfader section in your layout, you can actually adjust some of the cue controls. The left knob adjusts the mix between the cue and the master output. If you have the knob turned all the way to the left, you will only be able to hear the cued decks in your headphones. If you turn it all the way to the right, you will hear a mix of both the master output and the cued decks. The middle knob is the headphone volume adjustment. So if you want to turn the volume in your headphones up or down, you can use this knob. If you'd like to stay up to date with the DJ Podcast, subscribe on YouTube or follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And don't forget to visit the DJPodcast.com for more video tutorials to improve your DJ mixes.